In 2023, two friends named Ruby and Jody were arrested for mistreating Ruby's two youngest children, a 9-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy. This terrible situation unfolded partly in Hildebrand's home. The troubling accusations against Ruby and Jody only surfaced after Ruby's son managed to escape from Hildebrand's house in Ivan's. He sought help from a neighbor who, upon seeing the severely undernourished boy with duct tape on his wrists and ankles, promptly dialed 911. In a recorded interview with Utah police in 2023, Kevin Frankie, Ruby Frank's husband, described Ruby's tumultuous relationship with her accomplice, Jody Hildebrand, as batshit crazy. This interview took place after Ruby was arrested for child abuse. In December, Ruby Frank and Jody Hildebrand pleaded guilty to four out of six charges of second-degree aggravated child abuse. As a consequence, in February, both Ruby and Jody were given prison sentences. Each of them will serve four consecutive terms, with each term ranging from one to 15 years behind bars. This marks the legal resolution to the case involving their joint parenting and lifestyle YouTube channel, Connections Classrooms. The interview started with Kevin talking to Santa Clara Ivan's police officers about a special journal they gave to Hildebrandt in 2022 called The Pen Papers. Kevin explained that his wife, Ruby, wrote detailed notes in it about their interactions with Jody from August 2021 onwards. He said, the stuff she wrote in the pen papers is not stuff she would write in her journals. The stuff she wrote in the pen papers was not intended to be read by anybody until God would decree them to be written in scripture for the whole world. Kevin described how the journal contained descriptions of visions and trances that Jody and Ruby experienced. He mentioned, there were hundreds of pages of written documents that Ruby had. The interview then delved into Kevin's account of Ruby's unusual relationship with Hildebrand, who used to be a licensed therapist. This relationship evolved before and after they started their Connections Classrooms vlog on YouTube and began hosting conferences across the country. According to Kevin's statement during a police interview, Ruby and Jody bonded around 2019 because they shared similar lifestyles and parenting beliefs. Jody also encouraged Kevin to join her men's group, which met via Zoom. Kevin described the group as consisting of around 10 men who discussed their struggles with addiction. Between 2020 and around 2022, Ruby, a successful blogger with a YouTube channel called Eight Passengers, wanted a closer relationship with Hildebrandt, according to Kevin's statement to the police. When Jody apparently found herself in a cult-like situation with other women and managed to escape, Ruby eagerly offered to help her, Kevin explained. Ruby and Kevin then traveled to Hildebrandt's impressive $5.3 million modern mountain home in Ivins. Kevin was amazed by the luxuriousness of the house, stating to the police, It blew my mind. How does a therapist live like this? Kevin, an engineer and college professor, stayed at Jody's house and experienced strange events. He mentioned crashes in the basement while they were upstairs and plates flying off the kitchen wall by themselves. He couldn't explain these occurrences, but saw them happen firsthand. Ruby felt she could help Jody and eventually invited the therapist to stay in her family's Springville home. Kevin explained that as soon as Jody arrived at his house, strange things began to occur. Lights flickered on and off. Odd noises echoed through the walls, like footsteps scaling upwards and across the ceiling, and objects seemed to float around mysteriously. Kevin found found these occurrences unsettling and unpleasant. He mentioned that they began sharing a bed, and around September, Hildebrand started experiencing what seemed like trances. During these episodes, she believed she was journeying to heaven and encountering figures like God and Jesus. Shortly after welcoming Jody into their home, Kevin mentioned that Ruby requested an in-home separation. This meant that Kevin could continue living in the house, but they wouldn't behave as a married couple. Kevin felt restricted by new rules imposed by Ruby. He could leave the house but needed permission to return. He also needed permission to enter the kitchen or go upstairs where Jody was. Ruby and her friends often gathered to discuss their visions. Kevin recounted one vision where Ruby walked on water with Jesus and another where she spoke in different voices. Ruby eventually informed Kevin that she and Jody wanted to pursue work that felt like it was meant for them. Jody expressed a desire to team up with Ruby, and Ruby was prepared to let go of eight passengers to start a new lifestyle blog with Jody. He expressed his disbelief, stating, I thought it was crazy. Like, Ruby, you have a reputation. You have a multi-million dollar business. You have a brand, and you are just giving it away. According to Kevin, Ruby expressed that it wasn't about money, but rather about doing God's work. In July 2022, Ruby told Kevin to move out of their house. Kevin described his experience, saying, I can't describe to you what torture in hell it was to live an entire, it was more than a month, really, in complete isolation, believing that I was, like, evil, and manipulative and lying and selfish, 
and that I had abandoned my family and that I was more interested in my selfishness than my family. In a separate video recorded interview, Kevin informed the police that he hadn't laid eyes on his children for more than a year when Ruby and Hildebrandt were apprehended. Kevin, speaking to the police on August 30th, 2023, the day of their arrest, stated that they had not discussed anything concerning the children. He expressed his commitment to living an honest and responsible life for his family every day and described the news as a shock. Journal entries released by the Washington County Attorney's Office from Ruby, starting in May 2023, revealed disturbing thoughts directed at her own children. She noted her son's 12th birthday and expressed E and R have been in so much deviant behavior. They won't even control their bodily functions. The next day, she criticized her son's behavior and compared him to a snake. In July 2023, Ruby described an incident with her youngest son, R, where she claimed to have commanded a demon friend inside him to leave, resulting in his apparent relief. She also recounted labeling her daughter as manipulative and not innocent, urging her to repent. The abuse inflicted on Ruby's children included forced labor, food restriction, binding one child's hands and feet, and emotional harm. Ruby and Jody repeatedly told the children they were evil and deserving of punishment. Comment below the right answer. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and the like button.